four years ago, the United States failed to qualify for the Olympic Games in Athens, Greece. After qualifying for six straight Olympics, one of the most talented groups of young U.S. soccer players was sent home from Mexico with an unfamiliar taste in their mouths. Failure. 2008 brings a chance for redemption, a chance to set the record straight, and a chance for the next generation of U.S. soccer stars to shine against some of the world's best. Alvarez into the 18th, left foot in check! Rebound saved, another chance! MLSnet.com will follow these four young players as they take their shot at gold. Holden does it again! Alvarez bends it in, yes! Going to the Olympics is, uh, I mean, to me, it's probably just, you know, right below going to a World Cup. I think, you know, personally, uh, this is a, a huge opportunity for me. Uh, I'm li really looking forward to this. I'm really focused. As a kid, you kind of you kind of grow up and and uh, you watch the Olympics on TV and you always dream of how special it would be to stand on that stage and uh, and hold the hold the gold medal and and uh, hear your country's national anthem. The question is on side. And a 1v1 chance to get by the defender and scores! What a great effort from Kleshton! It's a pretty big deal for me just to know that I get to be an Olympic athlete at one point. Growing up, 1996 was always a big deal in, in Atlanta when Michael Johnson is like the biggest thing you remember from that Olympics. And it was, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of all athletes and, you know, there are a lot of role models to me growing up. To be able to say that I played in, in an Olympics also is, is a big goal of mine since I was a little kid and for you know almost to be a dream come true soon if, if we hopefully qualify. The Olympics is something that the uh, U.S. is they always do fairly well you know decent in the East and, and, and uh, so when they didn't make when they didn't even qualify for us I was. I was really shocked and surprised. And so now we're just looking to improve on that and go forward from there. That for sure would be the biggest stage I've ever played on. Um, it's international competition as well. So it's something I've always dreamt of doing, you know, playing in the World Cup and playing in the Olympics. Um, both of them have been goals for myself that I've set. And uh, so to have this opportunity to possibly be on that roster and be on that team is it's huge for me. So I'm looking to go out there in these camps and try to do well and, and make the most of my opportunity. Great. Spins this one. Opportunity. That one shot into the back of the net. And Houston has taken the lead. And how about this? Stuart Holden seconds into the match. When uh, when you don't qualify for a major tournament, it's always disappointing. But you know, for, for US soccer and the you know the the leaps and bounds that we've been making in the last you know four t ten years, you know it's it's been uh, incredible. So you know to miss out on playing in a major tournament is obviously uh, a, b a bit of a set setback. But you know uh, hopefully we can correct that this time around and uh, we can be uh, representing the U.S. in the Olympics. We have a we have a pretty good group of young guys right now with this under 23 team, and we get a little bit of pressure. You know. We didn't qualify last time, but this time it's in the United States, so you know it gives us an advantage as well. You know we're playing at home. Typically, in qualifying, the U.S. team and the U.S. team has done really well in, in qualifying at home for a major tournament. So I think we have a little pressure, but you know we have some guys with some good experience on this team that we that, you know we can take that and, and, and qualify. You know against some pretty decent teams in Concacaf. FC Dallas and Alvarez. <laughs> 
Moving up the left side. Right past Jack Stewart. Alvarez into the 18th. Left footed shot the goal. What a strike by Alvarez. Having the uh, the qualifying tournament here in the United States is it's uh it's an advantage. I've been with the with the past you know youth teams and but I think this is uh this is a really important one. You know obviously we're gonna have to you know go out there and, and play well and, and just you know win every game so um, you know we can put ourselves in a in a good situation to qualify for the tournament.